Hey math enthusiast, I'm here to go over the notes for the next section which deals with equations of circles. Now just to review a little bit, we know that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. Where b tells me where the line's located on the graph as far as the y-intercept, and m tells me how far up and over that line is going, how steep that line is. Now, when it comes to a circle, there's two important parts that I need to know. So I need to know where the circle's located, so I need to know where the center is, and I need to know how big that circle is, so I also need to know what the radius is. Okay, so let's get started with the notes. So for the equation of a circle, it's going to be written out like this. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So in this case, my radius is obviously r, and my center is actually the coordinates h and k, while x and y are any point on the circle, as you can see over here. So x and y represents a point on the circle. Here's my radius, r, and then hk is the center of my circle. So for these first couple examples, what I want to do is locate the parts that define the circle. So I want to figure out where's the center and where's the radius. Use that information to then write out my equation. So it looks like for this first example, my center is going to be at negative 4, positive 3. So negative 4, positive 3. Now, as I said before, remember that this is your h and this is your k in your equation. As far as the radius goes, I can mark it anywhere I want on my circle. I just got to go from the center to any point on the circle. Now, I would either go up, down, left, or right. Uh, I wouldn't go on a diagonal. All right, so if I go directly up, I can easily count that as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I know my radius is going to be 5. Now all I need to do is take all this information and plug it into the equation that we wrote up above. So I know it's going to be x minus h. Now since this is negative right here, it's going to become plus 4 plus y minus k, which is just positive 3, so that's just going to be minus 3. And it's going to equal, as it says up here, it's going to be r squared. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to square it. So I'm going to set it equal to 25. So for this next example, we'll get started the same way. First thing I want to do is locate my center. Looks like it's 1 and then down 3. So 1, negative 3. If it helps, you can mark this. Remember, it's your h and your k in your equation. Then your radius is just from the center to any point on the circle. So I'll go directly to the right. So it looks like we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for my radius. So now I just need to plug all this into my equation. So it's going to be x minus h, which is not h, but 1 squared plus y minus k, remember this is negative, so it's really minus negative 3, which is going to turn into plus 3 squared. And then I just want to set it equal to my radius squared, which is 7. So remember, you got to square that, so it's going to be 49. Now the next couple problems are just the opposite. Now I want to actually go through and graph this circle. So I need two pieces of information. I need to pull out the radius and I need to pull out the center. Okay, well remember your equation that helps, we'll write it up above so we don't forget it. Remember x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Now. As I just stated, I know it's equal to the radius squared. So 25 is really r squared. So that means the radius is just the square root of 25. So the radius is really going to be 5. 
As far as the center goes, remember it's H and K. So it's going to be this 4 and this 1. But remember it's X minus H and Y minus K. Now, because this right here says X plus 4, I know right away that for my center, the first coordinate is going to be minus 4. Now, in the next set, it says y minus 1, so I know for my y coordinate of my center, it's just going to be 1. All right, so at this point, you have your center, you have your radius, so we'll go over graph my center. It's negative 4, positive 1, so I know it's right here. And then for my radius, I'm just going to go 5 units to the right, which is going to be here. I'm going to go 5 units down, which is going to be here. Five units to the left and five units up. As soon as you have those points, now you just want to sketch out your circle. So just try to do it to the best of your ability. All right, it's not going to turn out perfect, but just make sure you touch all those points that represent the length of your radius. Next question is the same thing. I want to go through and graph this circle. So I need to locate my center. So remember, this is your H and this is your K. Now, since both my signs are negative here, I know that my center is just going to be positive 3, positive 4. All right. And then for my radius, remember, it's equal to the radius squared. So they tell me my radius squared is 36. So I'm just going to take the square root of that, which is going to tell me that my radius is 6. So now I just want to go through and graph all this information. So my center is at 3, 4, and my radius is 6. So I'm going 6 units down. I'm going 6 units to the right. Going 6 units up and six units to the left. All right. Then as I said, just try to connect those points that we traced for our radius in the best circle you can. So let's jump over to this example where I want to write out the equation of my circle and they've given me my center and my radius. So let's just recall what that equation is. So x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the radius squared. So obviously I have my radius, my radius which is 4, and then my center, remember, is h and k. So all I need to do is just take all this information and plug it in here for h, k, and r. So my final equation is going to be x minus h, so it's going to be minus 3 squared plus y minus k. Now in this case this is negative, so it's going to be plus 2 squared equals the radius squared, which is going to be 16.